Have you ever wondered if you could give your dog stingy nettle to help reduce his inflammation? If so, stay tuned for today's video. Hi, I'm Tanya Wilhelm. Thanks for joining me today. By request, I wanted to talk about one of the herbs that I use in Dexter's care to help reduce his inflammation. But before we go into the details, please do remember to speak with your dog's holistic veterinarian before adding any herbs or supplements to his care. For those of you who are new to the channel, thank you for joining us. Dexter is my 12 and a half year old Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, who not only is a senior dog, but he also has Chiari malformation. Chiari malformation is when the skull is too small to hold the brain. And because of this, the spinal fluid is pushed out in an abnormal way and builds fluid throughout Dexter's spine. He also has mitral valve disease, which also produces excess fluid. So one of the things that I wanna do for Dexter is to help naturally reduce the fluid buildup. In order to do this, I incorporate various foods and herbs into Dexter's diet, along with some pharmaceuticals that he must have. I believe in rotating the herbs and supplements so that I can better improve his care so that I can offer a variety of ways to improve his health. This also helps prevent his body from getting conditioned to one herb and not doing its job. Stinging nettle leaf is a gentle diuretic, which helps flush out the toxins of his body. This is a good choice for Dexter because he's also on medication due to his Chiari malformation, and this helps rid his body of these toxins. Because of the nettle's diuretic properties, it also helps reduce the spinal fluid buildup. Stingy nettle leaf is also good for dogs with allergies. Dexter does have seasonal allergies. Nettle is an overall body booster, helping to support a dog's immune system. It also is anti-inflammatory, reducing the inflammation caused by allergies. A dog with seasonal allergies can take nettle both orally and in a body rinse. Personally, I haven't tried the body rinse yet, but that's always something that I can do on his next bath. Stingy nettle can be provided to your dog in the form of a tincture, dried herb, tea, or body wash. The general stinging nettle for dogs' dosage are as follows. Dogs under 25 pounds can have one eighth of a teaspoon of dried herb or five to 10 drops of the tincture. Dogs 25 to 49 pounds, a half a teaspoon of dried herb or 10 to 20 drops of the tincture. Dogs over 50 pounds, three-fourths of a teaspoon of the dry herb or 20 to 40 drops of the tincture. And as I mentioned earlier, please speak to your dog's holistic veterinarian before adding any herbals or supplements to your dog's diet. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content. And if you'd like to support our work, please consider joining our private Patreon group for extra bonus and perks. And until next time, remember to pause and enjoy life, and we'll see you in the next video.